morning. My name is Jane Grohl. I was born in London, England. My full name is Valerie Jane Morris Grohl. I was born on April 3rd, 1934. I have loved animals in Africa ever since I was a child. I've had dreams about Africa and animals ever since I was younger. I love them so much. When I was one year old, my father gave me a chimpanzee um, stuffy. I've loved exploring ever since I was younger. I travelled to Africa when I was 23 years old, around there. I met a famous anthropologist and he hired me to go observe chimps in Gondi. He hired me to be his assistant and then later on sent me to visit the chimpanzees in Gombe and observe them and just study them and I was so excited because I love chimpanzees. My mother joined me for this journey. Fun fact about me, when I was a kid all my dreams were viewed in a male perspective. So my dreams about me in Africa, I was dreaming about me being a male, exploring Africa and all this and it's a pretty cool fact about me. I made two pretty cool observations when I was in Gombe. Observing the chimpanzees. So the chimps, I observed that they could use tools like humans. Which nobody had ever observed before, so thankfully I got to observe that. I love chimps. I also observed that they make many noises to communicate. They'll throw rocks, they'll chase after each other, they'll scream, they'll yell. Communication is just like, ah! They're more like us than you think. When I was there, I had to, when I was there, I had to constantly, like, observe, and it was so hard for, chimpanzees weren't warmed up to me, I was, like, a completely different species to them, and slowly get closer to them, and I had to live how they lived, so I ate bananas, and I had to act like them. Make noises like them. <laughs> Unfortunately, the males have no role in their family life, and but they are the largest and the dominant, so they are a big factor in their social system. Later on in my journey, I was accompanied by Hugo, and Hugo was not happy that he was coming to join me at all. I just wanted to do this journey, journey on my own, and experience, and make these conversations by myself. But Hugo had to join. He was an amazing photographer and National Geographic hired him. So he accompanied along my journey. It got good. We became close friends because we of course were together every single day. And we fell in love. <laughs> yes. Me and Hugo did fall in love on this journey. We got married. We went on a honeymoon. Away. And then I found out I was pregnant. Oh. And we named our son Hugo. Oh, he's a grown up now. My son, Hugo, hated chimps. Not to brag, but I have experienced lots of numerous honours and awards, including the gold medal conservation, <laughs> conservation from San Diego Zoo Zoological Society in 1974. Unfortunately, we can't touch the chimps anymore due to a mishap that happened of one of the chimps getting sick. Now I travel 300 days a year and I speak in venues talking about my journey, my observations, talk about the threats of chimpanzees around the world and I talk about a lot more of environmental crises. As I've always said, every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. I was not afraid of the chimpanzees at all. I love Africa. <laughs>